How's it going everybody? My name's Chipper and welcome back to another video on Escape from Tarkov. So in today's video, we're going to be talking about how you can make money on customs by playing just your scavenger and you can potentially make half a million, even up to a million rubles just by playing your scavenger. Now you can play your PMC and you can potentially take a few extra keys to make it a little bit more profitable, but it's not necessary. So I'll be first diving into um, an interactive map to show you exactly the breakdown of the runs and depending on which side of the map you spawn, whether or not it's on the left hand where the big red shed is or on the right hand side near the radar tower or even near the storage containers in the very far right corner. We'll be showing you the routes, the different um, places to loot and to be mindful of. Now this can be really good for new players um, to help them out, especially if you're coming into the game halfway through a wipe and you want to do the tasks on customs, but um, you also want to make some money at the same time. And this is goes applies to even experienced players making money while a wipe has occurred and having to complete those early tasks on customs and getting them out of the way just because we're going to customs doesn't mean we can't make some money so hopefully you guys get something out of this but first let's dive into the interactive map and break it down Alrighty, so first of all, we're going to be talking about this interactive map made by Glory for Life. Now I'm going to use this to sort of break down the map a little bit to show you the loot run and then we'll obviously skip into how you can actually do it in game. So first of all, I'm just going to be focusing on this side of the map. So we'll be talking about pretty much everything this way um, and then um, going from there. So first of all, um, as you can see by the key on the left, I've only activated a few things just to make it easier and uh, not as uh, guess clouded with information. Uh, so we've got extracts on, we've got jackets on, locked doors, um, PMC spawns, and as well as um, this, the hidden stashes. So that's pretty much going to be all you're going to need to do for this run. So if you want to try and mimic it or try and replicate what I'm talking about, that's how you can do it. Now I'm just going to talk about if your scav spawned around this um, sort of, um, I guess, cluster of um, spare shipping containers. Now the first jacket is going to start over here um, and it's inside one of the sheds um, and then towards the back of it is a weapon crate as well. Moving down here you're going to see the um, another jacket, there's also another weapon crate towards the back. Cutting across and jumping over the barrier and then past the med car and cutting across, you're going to see three jackets here at the trailer park um, workers shack. Then you're going to be, um, that's at the top as well, cutting through here. Now, if you're on your PMC, you can take the uh, trailer park workers key and actually get into another set of um, jackets. However, on your, on your scav run, go to the guard station here and towards the back is another two. Now, if you like, if you're on your PMC, you can come up here and go up to the uh, customs key office and there's another set of jackets where the safe is as well. Now, once you've done that on your scav from the guard station, cutting across here and then moving across the water and then underneath the pipes is your first hidden stash. Going across there and just past the pipes under some bushes is um, the next one. And this is why you should always check scav backpacks. You never know what you might get, like a checkpoint key and a labs key card, valued at over 350 plus thousand rubles. Now it's up to you if you want to go for this jacket here in the, I guess a little like outpost or bus stop. Now it is a bit contested as it is pretty popular zone around here, but if it's relatively late into the raid, um, then you can qu quickly nab it and then continue to sort of run across here and then head towards dorms. Now it's up to you if you want to go to dorms um, or if you want to cut across and start hitting up other hidden stashes, but I'm going to base it on the fact that you're going to head up dorms first. Alrighty, now we're going to be talking about the right hand side of the map. So this is the radar tower side or where the storage containers are. It's probably some notable landmarks. Now I'm probably going to base it on the fact of starting near the old gas station down here as that is a scav spawn um, and you can potentially get that scav spawn around this section relatively easy. So I think it's a good starting point. So moving from here, probably checking the med pack at the back um, is a good idea. Moving through, now you're going to hit this building up here. Now in this building, as soon as you enter through, there will be a jacket. There is weapon crates here and here too. So it's just something to be mindful of. Once you've done that, you're out the door and then exiting here. 
coming over here to the, the first stash, hidden stash. Now it's in the pit, just so you guys know. Heading up from there, and then we're going into this building. Then there's cutting through. There's your first jacket. There is another weapon crate down there if you want to grab it. Then you grab that out the door, and then you're pretty much starting here and then exiting back out. Once you've done that, you're pretty much using the cover here to sprint across and the fuel containers or the fuel storage units, cutting through there, cutting across here to where some small um, storage containers are, and then cutting through down here into the first um, or the next hidden stash. Once you've got this hidden stash, you're cutting across, going into the bushes over here for the next one. Then you're going up, hitting up the um, administration gate stash, which is right in the corner. Cutting out, going to the next one, which is in a bush against the wall. Once you've got that hidden stash, you're going obviously up to the top. Now always check these wooden crates as you can get some really good scopes like the PSO or even other attachments early on. Grabbing that one, then you're going to the middle of the map here at the top. Now this one's a relatively tricky one to find, but if you just look around near the road and use the gauge of the road, you should be able to find it. Then you're going up to the top here where the radar dish is. Now this, this stash is actually buried right up against the fence near some bushes. Cut across, same again, heading towards the stash there with some bushes against the, um, I guess, against the mountainside. Then you're cutting across the train station, heading up to where I think it's another radar tower or um, power lines or power tower or something like that. But then there's a stash here through the fence. Now approach this stash at the bottom of underneath the fence before you get too close to the fence that'll get you looting it quickly it's kind of buggy now from there on you're pretty much cutting in here and then you're heading towards dorms now if you want you can potentially risk heading down towards some of these dashes here however just be mindful they are more in the center of the map and your likelihood of running into players especially in the center and around this section here is extremely high so it's just something to just be mindful of all right, now we're going to talk about dorms. Now, I'm not necessarily going to fixate on the, um, I guess, the run, so to speak, or the, or the route you should take, as it really varies from which side that you enter. But I'm going to base it on as you're going to be coming into third story dorms from Big Red. So first of all, I'd be smashing out the first floor 101, 104, and then 105. Some really good um, jacket spawns in there. Head down, and if you're on your PMC, you can hit up 118. Backtrack, head up the stairs, and then head down to on um, the second story, down to 205. And this is where the machinery key is, but it can spawn other keys. And then you're looking at 202 as well. Now you've got the idea to either run up the stairs or backtrack up to the third story, and then you can hit up um, 101. You can also head down to 310, even though it's not listed here, it is there. I would then head back down, go back down to second story. Um, you can either do 220 if you've got the key, or you can then do 221, which has the jackets on the ground, and then you're out the door, and then bang, you're away. Now, use your common sense here. If it's more beneficial to spend your remaining time going for stashes, say if you've got about six minutes, I would do the stashes rather than going into second story dorm. And vice versa, if you hit second story and then potentially even third story, you may be better off just starting to head towards your extract if you've got enough loot on you. Um, from here, we're heading towards the back here. So in, you can do the reverse here if you were coming from the other side, heading up. And then we're looking at the showers here, which is across from two, um, uh, 211. And then heading right down to the end where is uh, 202. Once you've hit them up, head down the stairs, hit across here, and then you're going into uh, 108. Now you can go into 104, but it is a bit of risk because you're going to have to loop right around, but there is the safe room here too. So if you're on your PMC, maybe worthwhile. And that's pretty much it for the dorms. Now, the last thing I want to touch on is the keys that you could potentially use on your PMC. Now the trailer park key, the customs key, the, the dorms 118 key and dorms 220, as well as the 104 key and two story dorms, they're all relatively cheap keys and are going for around 10,000 rubles or less. However, one that I didn't really talk about in this guide was the USEC stash. Now you can find this in between the um, gas cylinders um, or gas storage tanks and storage units. However, it is an expensive key and it's only got one jacket and a um, black weapons crate. So it's 200k. 
it's up to you if you want to buy it but in my opinion it doesn't really fit this sort of um, low budget and um, all scav run so um, I kind of left it out but it is there as an option Thanks for watching guys. Now if you got something from this video, I really appreciate a like down the bottom. But more importantly, if you've got any comments or if you have any questions about the video, please leave them down below and I'll endeavor to get to them as soon as I can. Also too, if you're new to the channel and want to see content like this in the future, smash that subscribe button so you never miss out. But until next time guys, I'll see you back out there.